All right, today we're going to take a look at this Eagle Aspen Outdoor UHF Bowtie TV Antenna. It was easy to put together and I only paid 18 bucks for it, which is a great deal for an outdoor antenna that's made of almost all metal. Size wise, this antenna is just under 19 inches in length and about a foot high. That definitely puts it in the category of small outdoor antenna. You could probably use it as an indoor antenna if you have a spot for it. This antenna model has been around a long time. It was actually designed for an older version of the UHF TV band, channels 14 to 69. The current TV spectrum used for UHF only covers channels 14 to 36. And looking at the size of these bow tie whiskers here, these are about 14 inches in length, which actually centers them right around channel 36. So that puts them somewhere in the middle of the old UHF TV band. Now looking at the specs on the box here, you can see that the upper UHF channels, for example 50 and 69, have a much higher gain. They also have a much lower beam width, meaning that the antenna becomes more directional as the gain increases. Now for channel 14 and 32, which are currently still in use on the UHF TV spectrum, the gain is a little lower, but the beam width is much wider, meaning that this antenna has a wider pickup on these lower channels, which could be helpful. If this antenna was to be redesigned to be more suitable for the current UHF TV band, RF channels 14 through 36, then for it to be centered around channel 14, the whiskers would have to be much longer, about three inches longer each. If it was to be centered around channel 25, which would put it somewhere in the middle of the current UHF TV band, the whiskers would only have to be about another inch and a quarter in length. And the spacing between these two bow ties would probably have to be a little wider. You'd also have to have a much larger rear reflector. Now, interestingly enough, there's also a spec about VHF high band gain, it says the average gain is about negative 8 dBd and what that spec refers to is a comparison against a dipole antenna of the same frequency. A dipole antenna is said to have a gain of about 2 dB, so if this antenna has an average gain of negative 8 dB compared to a dipole antenna, that means that it's really not meant for VHF at all. But as you're about to find out, it's not entirely useless to pick up VHF TV channels. So I've got this antenna up on a mast here pointed in the direction of my local broadcast towers. It's about 17 feet in the air. And I'm really testing this only for interest's sake because I don't really have a way to validate the performance of this antenna because I don't have any UHF TV channels broadcasting in my area. All the channels are on VHF, channels two, four, and nine. So it'll be interesting to see if this antenna will pick these channels up and with what kind of gain. All right, so kind of a pleasant surprise. This small UHF TV antenna was able to lock all my local stations that broadcast on RF channels 2, 4, and 9. RF channel 2, right at the bottom of the low VHF spectrum, was locked in uh, right around 55%, no pixelation. RF channel 4 hovered around 60%, and RF channel 9, a little better in the 64 to 65% range. Now, what does this test mean? It means that if you live in a signal area with either strong signals or you're close to the broadcast towers, you can probably get away with using a small antenna like this, even one that's not necessarily meant for your TV band. But the other side of this is, is that these signals are on the low side. And even though they're locked now, there's just not enough signal left over there in case of any bad weather. There's not enough signal to keep these channels locked in if there was wind, rain, or anything else that would cause a signal loss. So even though it's fun to test these antennas out that really aren't meant for my reception area, the best advice is buy a proper antenna that is meant for your reception situation. 